Welcome. This is our fifth video. Thank you for your dedication. My name is Jerson, and today we are going to talk about building bridges. We are on the journey in our study called the seven marks of the disciple. There are many different kinds of bridges in this world. Some are wooden, some are stone, and others are fabricated of steel. Some are small, some are massive, but they all function basically the same way. A bridge is a structure built to span a physical obstacle, such as a body of water, valley, road, or rail, without blocking the, the way underneath. It's a structure for the purpose of providing passage over the obstacle, which is usually something that otherwise difficult or impossible to cross. As a disciple of Jesus, we should be bridge builders. Perhaps you are thinking, what kind of bridge Gerson is talking about? Bridges bring unity, proximity. Bridges connect. A disciple of Jesus is a bridge builder of relationships. Once again, our reference and example is Jesus Christ. And Jesus was a bridge builder. He spent his life building bridges, relationships, and knocking down walls of separation of all sorts of types. Jesus didn't come solely to build a vertical bridge between God and us. Jesus also built horizontal bridges between us and others. Interesting, uh, the Bible says when talking about this connection, this bridge between God and us, the Bible says, for there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. And the way how, the same way Jesus is the bridge, the vertical bridge, the way how we need to establish or build these horizontal bridges is on the basis of love. Jesus said in John 15, this is my commandment that you love one another, just as I have loved you. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. In reality, there are two types of people. Those who build bridges of relationships are open to different ideas and respect and honor others around them, and those who burn them and build walls of separation, uh, isolating themselves around their own ideas. The wall builders are those who, in general, are prideful and selfish in their ideas and identity. On the other hand, a bridge builder are those who humbly knowledge their grace status in God's eyes as a result of a deep understanding of forgiveness, mercy, and grace. Reaching others out of love. 
the same love they received from the Heavenly Father. So Jesus is our example and we can see him broken uh, down the walls and build bridges between enemies when he talking about Jews and the Samaritans. Jesus broken down the walls and built bridges between men and woman. He even had a conversation with a Samaritan woman, which was a double taboo in that culture. Jesus broken down walls and built bridges between people in different cultures and ethnicities, Jews and Gentiles, or their understanding of the rest of the world, and he was reaching in love. Jesus broken down the walls and built bridges between people in powerful positions and the most vulnerable. And we can read, uh, uh, rem recall the, the rich and the wi widow when she was offering uh, in the temple. Well, the main idea to reach others is in love. So, we, I would like to leave some uh, important thoughts. If you are uh, called a disciple of Jesus, uh, it's important we try to um, apply now to our lives. As a disciple of Jesus, Am I building bridges? Really? I'm building bridges? And I would like to give some examples with different ethnicities and cultures. Am I making an effort to learn their stories? As a disciple of Jesus, am I building bridges with people who views I disagree with? Am I being curious to try to see things from their perspective? As a disciple of Jesus, am I making friends with people of different religions? Am I trying to understand how they view God in, in the world around them? As a disciple of Jesus, am I a bridge builder in the relationships with my family, with my colleagues at work, with my neighbor? Well, Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Remember, Reach out others in love is a result of following Jesus. Therefore, Christ needs to be real in my life first, in your life first. It's a transformational journey. It's very personal, deep, with a divine healing in our hearts and minds. Jesus is our bridge to a new life, new values, new answers in this life. With this true reality, a disciple of Jesus will be able to manifest Jesus' transformational love to others. So now it's time for you to meet with your group and I hope you have a great time of learning discussion and God bless you.